Welcome back to These Things Are Written on this Easter Monday. I hope you had a blessed celebration of Easter over this weekend as we celebrated not only the death of our Savior Jesus Christ, but more importantly, his resurrection and the promise that he gives to us of life eternal. And I hope you got gospel this weekend on Easter. It's hard to miss, right? Because today we're going to continue a little bit more with the law. The law that we hear in Amos chapter 10. The, the judgment against the nation of Israel for what they have done. And today's, as we look at it, it is uh, one of the few parts of dialogue between Amos and someone else. Um, as they are trying to stop Amos for doing what he is called to do. Let's begin reading Amos chapter 7, beginning with verse 10. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent to Jeroboam, king of Israel, saying, Amos has conspired against you in the midst of the house of Israel. The land is not able to hear all his words. For thus Amos has said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel must go into exile away from his land. First of all, a reminder of Bethel. Bethel is one of the main places of worship, one of the sanctuaries that Jeroboam the first, when Israel split away from Judah, the ten tribes leaving Judah and Benjamin below, uh, the Jeroboam the first set up as a place of worship to keep the people of Israel from going down into Jerusalem. And again, while they worshiped the one true God there, most likely they worshiped false gods because Jeroboam, all of the kings were worshipers, not just of the one true God, but more often worshipers of other gods and not the one true God, not even in part. So as we look at this, um, it's, it's a reminder that, that Amos is really going to the place, to Amaziah, who was the priest of Bethel, and when Amos was prophesying, he would be prophesying in one place, in Bethel, because that's where he knew they would get a, a response, and that they would hear the word from God that they were to be seeking. And if the other thing to note on this is how Amaziah told King Jeroboam on Amos, reported what Amos was doing. We don't hear of any response back, but yet as we look at this, we see that it is a threat to Amos, and that's what Amaziah wanted. Let's continue with verses 12 and 13. And Amaziah said to Amos, O seer, go, Flee from the land of Ju or to the land of Judah and eat bread there and prophesy there, but never again prophesy at Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary, and it is the temple of the kingdom. Then Amos answered and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet nor a prophet's son, but I was a herdsman, a dresser of sycamore trees. But the Lord took me from following the flock, and the Lord said to me, Go, prophesy to the people Israel. Amaziah was telling Amos to flee, really, to go back to where you have come. Um, and maybe thinking, maybe hearing back from uh, King Jeroboam, this is always one of those things that is discussed, that maybe Amaziah and, and Jeroboam saw this as a threat to their kingdom, as something that, that Judah was trying to do to perhaps prevent something from happening here. Amos answered. His answer is telling, isn't it? It wasn't my idea. I have to do what the Lord has called me to do. I have no choice. I was a sheep herder. I was a caretaker of sycamore figs. But now God called me to do this. I'm a prophet only by God's calling. Continue with verse 16. Now, therefore, hear the word of the Lord. You say, do not prophesy against Israel and do not preach against the house of Isaac. Therefore, thus says the Lord, 
your wife shall be a prostitute in the city, and your sons and your daughters shall fall by the sword, and your land shall be divided up with a measuring line, and you yourself shall die in an unclean land, and Israel shall surely go into exile away from its land. Amaziah said, don't prophesy against Israel. So really what Amos does is he prophesies against Amaziah. Of course, he's speaking the Lord's words, right? He's, you, Amaziah, don't prophesy against Israel. And Amos says, the Lord says, you know what? Your wife, in order to buy bread, will go into prostitution. Your children will all die by the sword. The land will be divided up. You will be taken to a, an unclean land and you will die in that place. Israel will surely go into exile away from its land. The Lord gave Amos the words to speak. The words to speak, words that I'm guessing he didn't like to speak, but God used them to try to turn, to give his people one more chance. Our God is a God of second chances. And as he calls us to repentance every day, not just during the 40 days of Lent that we just came through, but every day to repent of our sins, to return to the Lord, our God. Go in peace. We'll see you tomorrow.